In this video, I will be showing you a dialogue of personal messages from me questions, where he has been getting a bit nasty because of my response video. You know as well as I do, when push comes to shove, you're really not all that confident with your knowledge. It's obvious how you dance around the whole debate thing. If I knew I was going to crush someone else in a fight or argument, I wouldn't need them to prove anything. I just ask them when and where the butt kicking begins. I'm confident in my knowledge and how things work. Now let's find out what you seriously know. I have answered your questions, now I think it's time for you to answer mine. I have illustrated my knowledge in my videos, which have shown you how intelligent design is a pointless argument, because until you can prove the existence of your specific God, there is simply no point to believe the, in the Bible. If you wish to personally believe it, that's fine, but if you keep preaching that as, as if it's an absolute word of God and must be obeyed, then you are just going to invite criticism, especially if all the evidence you have is the complexity of a cell. You, evolution explains the natural processes which lead to the diversity through mutations, whereas abiogenesis explains the possible explanations of the development of an organism. I'm quite confident about my knowledge, especially if I were to compare it to yours. Yet, as I said, before until you are able to prove that you are receptive to information and are willing to listen and regard what I say, then perhaps I may consider it. But until then, don't even bother. By the way, once again you have put up a lot of strong elements in your reply. Again, and I challenge you to cite any of my sources where I talk about the things you claim I said. The whole point of my argument with you wasn't creationism were true, my claim is that evolution is false and the evidence doesn't point to it being true. Two very different prepositions requiring two very different discussions. You're scared, it's obvious. Please see questions, why should I even bother waste my time with someone who can't tell the difference between abiogenesis and evolution? Do you know how ridiculous you sound? E questions again until you are able to provide any relevant information regarding your claims for creationism and be able to tell the difference between abiogenesis and evolution, then perhaps we may talk. And yet, Mula! Don't you ever get tired of lying to yourself? Is that just how you live your life so you could get, get used to it? I would just like to know what was the first organism was that mutated, so I have a baseline to start with. It's not that hard to figure out. Even beyond all that, I could easily put you to waste with all the other biological problems within evolution. But you don't know all that much about biology, and would much rather hide behind a keyboard where you can google stuff and I bring up because you actually don't know understand the inner workings of the cell and its limitation. Bring all of your friends if you wish and they can ask questions too. If you think I'm full of shit or can't back up what I'm saying with evidence then you can just leave. Won't bother me if you think I'm stupid and you think you'll pwn me then you look like a champ in front of your buddy. What the fuck? Oh, god damn it. To begin with the questions, what would be the point debating you? When I have already answered your question as illustrated in my last video, and you have yet to answer my question regarding your claims for intelligent design, being responsible for the origins of life. 